Well, okay. Welcome back to Is It Wrong to Have Girls in a Dungeon? Anime Review Episode Number 23. Yes, it has been one year and two months since my last review for this thing. Last time being a review of the, of the OVA that came after Season 3. I had heard about this season we're at the conclusion of the previous season of the show. And was I fine with the fact that it aired like where this year, where it took almost two years to basically come out? I didn't have a problem with it at all. Nope, had no problem with that at all. As long as basically that it didn't come like the following year because I would seem a little too quickly, but I think that basically the time that came between seasons was perfectly fine. Well, if one thing wasn't delayed, no. Though it has sort of a very unusual start date basically for this, where it airs today compared to normally when we start any season or anime I have watched, usually is the start of a month. Not usually the end of a month. Usually the end of the month means basically the end of a season. Not the start of one, which is a bit unusual to say at least. Now this one's called Prologue. This is basically a review of the 30. If I can get to the thing here. The 38th episode of the series, which is called Prelude, Prologue, Night Before Departure. That is the name of this episode. This adapts from the opening prologue from the book, from book 12. The first chapter and about half of chapter 2. Yes. Um... Which is interesting, though, the fact that they decided to do that. And, like usual, whenever they have these titles, basically, it's like, all oh, it's up, the regular title they have the other title in parentheses. That's how normally this stuff works. Mm hmm. Oh, if you're curious, what's the cover book 12 look like? This. Where it looks like the Lily has basically looks like her, her skirt's with to come off. And also, her shirt is shredded. Yeah. Now, this is actually the follow of the illustrator. Basically, a lot of the books tend to do this for its female characters. Some of them. Hestia does not go through this at all. Nope, she's drawn perfectly normal. Except here's the thing. She's only seen on like one or two of the covers. But Belle is probably the only character I've seen so far on these covers who's been like almost every one. So, the opening sequence is episode. By the way, we still have JC staff doing the animation for this particular show. Which I think is actually pretty good on the part of them. Egg Farm does also chip in a little bit here when it comes to probably some post-production stuff anyways. Now, the opening the opening thing you first see in the episode, it is gorgeous. My gosh, wow. Not much dialogue here, just a bunch of numbers. Just all it is, is just Hestia examining Bell's level. Which is revealed, and here's a fun fact. This is the still current level of the novels right now. As at the start of this very season, Bell is now level 4. He is no longer level 3. Because, of course, this, this, this took place not long after the events of the previous season, despite the fact being, like, since the last season aired, it has been roughly about 19 months since the previous season aired. So, basically, also it's mentioned later on the episode that it's been a few months since Bell became an adventurer. Yeah, a few months over the course of 37 episodes. Yes, 30, actually like 38, right? Is it 38? Yeah, 30 episodes. So basically, Hestia reveals about the whole thing of Fetty. And of course, basically, Bell's like getting stronger because of his power of Minotaur. Yeah, there's several references to Xenatos in this episode. Despite the fact not really appear in this episode per se but it's a good start nonetheless mm -hmm. and i'm gonna have to stop here something i don't want to do but well i'm like four and a half minutes in i'll continue this after i get back from dinner yippee splitting up review that i want to do one video you see you all in a bit. Bye.